Maybe if it's a, <coughs> a magnet motor, this is my magnet motor concept of the This is a prototype, improvised prototype. Okay, this magnet motor, this is a prototype for finding a way to provoke a circular motion using magnets and iron shields. This is not a magnet motor, this is only a concept to provoke a circular motion for doing a magnet motor in another design and in that, in that design we have to develop speed and torque. This is only the concept of how to provoke that motion, that circular motion. The, this, this prototype has only two units. To do a magnet motor you have to have several units you have to enhance the, the, the components to do a better movement and so on. Okay, this prototype, this concept has two parts. Two, two parts. A rotor and a stator. In the rotor, we have the in the rotor we have the magnets and in the stator we have the shield. Okay, in this prototype, there's three components that's going to make the turn. The first component is a vertical arrangement of magnets. This is the vertical arrangement of magnets from here to here that's going to feel attractive to a vertical shield. Okay, this is the this is the vertical shield, vertical shield. No, vertical shield and, and spiral arrangement of mine. It's gonna feel attractive. Yeah. It's gonna feel attractive. Okay. That's one component. The other component is the external magnet. External magnets. These external magnets are the second component. It's gonna uh, provoke a repulsion effect in this shield. It's gonna magnetize this, this external magnet. Right? It's gonna magnetize this shield with the same polarity of the spiral magnet and gonna cause a repulsion. I'm going to prevent a kickback. I'm going to move always in one direction. Okay. Now, the first component is going to be this component. This component is going to cause a repulsion in the external magnet. And it's going to be the last component of the or prototype to cause a circular motion. This is gonna cause a revolution in this in this magnet. Okay. Today today workshop I installed this component. This is the, the first component. That's the magnet. They're gonna turn as the external magnet turn like this. They're gonna turn and then this magnet in the behind it's gonna cause a repulsion in the external magnet like this. In that position, and it's gonna push. Okay. That's the push that it's supposed to do. Okay. Okay, I installed this component. This is the last component that's gonna make turn this function, this prototype. But now I have to, after doing the test, I, I went to a conclusion that now I have to put more power in this component. You see, it has only one magnet. I have to put more strength, strength 
force in this component to then push this one because it doesn't have enough force. I'm gonna make a demonstration of what this prototype will do if this thing is turning, turn. But it not can right now it, I cannot make that demonstration because it, it's, these magnets have less power force than the extended magnet. It needs more force to make the push. Okay. As you see, when the extended magnet pass, it's gonna turn this component. It's gonna turn it like this. And doing that, when it turns this magnet, for example, it do turn this magnet. Like that. And you see the other magnet going behind. That magnet supposedly has to push the extended magnet like this. And make and cause a continuous motion. I'm gonna try to make a demonstration, I'm gonna pull this by my hand. But I have to put more force magnets here and in the other way. I, I have this one here and there's another one here. I have this this magnet, I have it over there, but I don't install it yet to make first of this. Okay, I make a make a demonstration by hand. If this component uh, would be working like it's supposed to be, It's gonna turn. Okay. 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 That's okay. Of 
And if I put this thing, external magnet, very large, then I have to put this component to to a more large too. If I make this from to this until this this long, I have to put this component to the same size, the same long, to cover the external magnet. Okay. So this is an improvised prototype. We are discovering here new things, new manners to provoke a simple emotion, but it's, it's in a in improvised, discovering manner. So I, I, I have to work uh, with this prototype that is a full construction too because it is made in wood and full material and I cannot achieve a very calibration. But Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna cut the video now and I'm gonna conclude that in the next workshop I'm gonna I have to buy more magnets. I'm gonna buy one very strong. I'm gonna put it in this side, in the back side of this magnet, so it projects a major force of flux. These are two magnets in parallel. If I put a, a larger one, a long magnet in the in the in the back, it's gonna create a more a force, long force. Okay, so that's it.